You're watching Finding Omaha. I'm Reed Kilmer. Today you're going to meet Kyle. We ran into Kyle when he had just finished reading and drinking some coffee. Meet Kyle. I'm Kyle. I'm 27 and I'm from Papillion originally, but I live in the neighborhood now. Childhood was pretty normal. Just went to like a grade school, high school. I mean, my parents are about as normal as they come, like, uh, not really anything too interesting in my childhood, I guess, and life now is, well, I'm kind of trying to figure out, uh, what to do with my life, I guess. I guess right now I'm just focused on, like, trying to get myself into a place where I find that I... don't feel like I'm plagued with thoughts that make me sad, I guess. Part of me wants to say yes, but then the other part of me wants to say that any re thing that I could consider to be a regret, if I consider it a regret, I'm probably not thinking about it the right way because it should be more of an opportunity to learn from those things that have happened than anything else. I like it, but I have some reservations, and I guess it's more or less, I don't know if it's just how I live, but it seems like I oscillate between like, today I was woke up at noon, and I went to bed at three, I was just drinking a lot. And it seems like today I kind of woke up and I'm like, what do I do today? I, I have like a relatively small group of friends and so if they're busy, like I have to go and find something for myself to do and I don't have like necessarily any, I'm trying to find like what's a good hobby. So like reading I feel like is a good hobby. It's a decent way to spend your time but then you know, you can only read for so long until you feel like you probably want to go do something else and shopping or buying things isn't that interesting and eating alone at restaurants is only fun until you start to feel like you probably should be eating at a restaurant with other people and then I get to the point where I think well I could go out and try and meet people but then in Omaha that kind of goes hand in hand with uh, drinking again unless I'm you know in some like you know maybe I start to like join a group that does like theater or something but I only have like a passing interest in that it just seems easier to go out to a bar because that's kind of what I don't know that's kind of the thing that it seems like there is to do so maybe you go to a show see live music or go to an art opening. But then all of those things also kind of go hand in hand with drinking. I like drinking, but I also like am conflicted about it as well because, well, it hurts your body, like it hurts your mind. I don't know if I need to be remembered. I've thought about that a lot because you think like, uh, Like, there's how many billions of people that are alive now, there's how many billions and billions of people that have, and multitudes of people that have been alive for the history of civilization that weren't remembered or maybe never even considered that they should be remembered. They didn't feel any entitlement to being remembered or that their lives were just lived in such a way that that wasn't a thought that they ever had, was that I could be remembered or I should be remembered. And then at the same time you think you have these people who are, have become immortal through their creations or um, through their creations or contributions to uh, humankind. 
whether it be a scientist, a mathematician, or an artist, uh, you think when you, if I were to walk into that speed bump sign without stopping, there'd be an equal and opposite reaction, and that's Newton. And so he's kind of immortal in that way, and that he made that contribution to society, but I don't know if Newton ever would have considered that perhaps he was doing that to be remembered. Uh, and the same goes for Beethoven, like, did he create the symphonies that he's become immortal for creating because he wanted to become immortal? Maybe, but I can't know, and I don't like to think that it was so self-serving that he did it because he didn't want to be forgotten, but he did it because he had this thing growing inside him, this thing eating away at his soul that he needed to get out. Um, and the symphonies are a result of that kind of expunging of emotion, I guess.